Hey you guys and welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. I am your chef, Sharice, and today we are going to be making two recipes, but they like go together. So we're gonna make vegan pinto beans, like dried beans to delicious beans in a crock pot to go with, okay, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. To go with our vegan caramelized onion risotto. What? I shook, I shook myself, okay? <laughs> so before we get started, I did wanna remind you that Black Lives Matter, and I have my link below, so you can donate, sign petitions, this, that, and the other. Again, just so we don't forget, Breonna Taylor's murderers have not been arrested. Sleeping in her bed. No knock, warrant, for someone who doesn't live there, Whatever, don't even get me started on that warrant bullshit. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> you know, and if you don't know, Google it and educate yourself, police. Also, wear your mask. And just like the Ravens commercial said, protect the flock. Alrighty, Roo, bugaboo. So we're up bright and early to get our beans going for dinner tonight. So in here, in my blender, I have like three carrots, three or four celeries and then like a whole onion and I'm just gonna blitz this up instead of like like you could like dice it on your own but like I don't have time for that okay so in our crock pot I'm going to add two cups of dried pinto beans that I already rinsed to these beautiful beans I'm going to add one teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder and then half a teaspoon each of cumin and paprika I was gonna use smoked paprika but I ran out so like you do you then we're going to add our beautiful vegetable mix. And now we're going to add four cups of vegetable broth. And then I filled our container up with water, but I didn't do it all the way. So it's a four cup container, probably about three cups, three and a half cups. I mean, it's not a big deal because if you have leftover liquid at the end, you can just drain it off. We're just going to stir this together. I'm going to pop my lid on, turn it on high heat, and I'm just going to let these babies go all day until dinner. So probably about 8 to 10 hours unless you have like a super hot one. So you might want to start checking at 6 hours just in case. I don't know how these big chunks of celery got in there. I'm going to remove those. Oh my God, you guys. Look at these beans and all those uh, vegetables. Okay, so now I'm going to add some salt and pepper. So the reason I'm doing this now is A, I wanted to do it like per taste. So do it per taste. But also I read somewhere once that like the salt, if you put it in the beginning, like messes with how the beans are cooked. And like I wasn't trying to mess around with that. So after you have it to your liking, you can certainly drain this liquid out, but I quite like that extra liquid to go with like the rice and stuff, but you do you. I'm steaming up this whole camera. You probably can't even see it, girl. And now on to our risotto. So I have two large yellow onions with a little dollop of vegan butter in here. And I'm going to put this on the heat, not like super high, like not like high boiling, but like kind of high and kind of get a little bit brown at first. And then I'm going to turn the heat down and kind of let those caramelize for a good like 20, 25 minutes. I forgot to say they're thinly sliced onions. These bad boys are just about done. So I'm going to take them out and put them into a bowl but I'm not gonna wipe out this pot. After we removed the onions, we added a little bit of EVOL, and then I'm going to add two cups of rice. Now, you're supposed to use like, oh my gosh, what is it, aborio rice? I don't know what kind of rice this is, and I don't really care. I'm still gonna use it. So we're just gonna let this toast up just for like a minute or two. And then on another burner, we have some vegetable broth two quarts to be exact, that we're warming up and we're gonna use this and we're gonna ladle a little bit at a time, but we want it to be warm. Now I'm going to start adding, oh yeah, start adding my liquid about a half cup at a time. Let me add just a little bit more. My ladle isn't too big, but we're gonna just keep stirring this and let this go. And once this liquid starts evaporating, we're gonna add some more. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we run out of liquid. As you can see, we're a little over halfway now. And look at how like thick it's gotten. It's getting really creamy. We're gonna add a little bit more. And then again, stir it up. So all the starches of that rice is coming out as that is evaporating and the starches are making it creamy. Oh my God, we're getting there y'all. For a little extra creaminess at the end, I'm gonna add a little dollop of vegan butter. 
Normally you would add like a little vegan Parmesan as well to make it creamy, but I don't have any, but I had like a little bit left over this Biolife cream cheese, vegan cream cheese. So I added that in there too. It's probably like, I don't know, a quarter cup, third of a cup, and I'm just gonna mix it in. This is also where I'm going to add my salt and pepper to taste. And then we're gonna stir back in our glorious flavorful caramelized onions. You guys, oh, look at those beans. Look at that risotto. Okay. <laughs> I'm freaking out. All right. Let me try that. Let me to go. Let me go for the beans first, since we made that first on this channel. Girl, I'm real picky when it comes to beans, because I'm a texture person. That's why, like, if you've watched my channel before, like mushrooms and stuff, I struggle with. But these are so good. They have so much flavor. They're cooked great. Those extra vegetables, mmm, mmm. Give it such great, like, the texture, again, the texture. All right, I'm going on this risotto. I can't wait any longer, you guys. Okay. Oh, and with the, let's get it with the beans. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. That risotto is so creamy. And the flavor of that caramelized onion in it, I keep looking at Greg because I'm like, Okay, I just had my first bite of the beans with the risotto. Mm -hmm. I just went straight in beans risotto. Mm -hmm. I have no words. That's just a phenomenal. They complement each other so well. Like they're both great on their own. Don't get me wrong. Like they're individual recipes that you can make mm -hmm. by themselves, right? But like, oh, sorry. It's also like really hot in here, the Northeast. I can't. I'm sweating. I guess like the Mideast, Northeast, Mideast, whatever. Mid-Atlantic. A Mid-Atlantic, I'm so wet and it's so hot. Um, that is so good. I can't even, that risotto, um, <laughs> okay, you need to make this, you need to like this, you need to subscribe, you need to comment, and you must share this with your friends. And if you make this, please share it with me, tag me on like Instagram, Facebook, and everything, because I am shook the house, and there's no doubt in my mind that you won't love this. Oh my God. Mm, full written recipe as per usual will be linked below midnight munchies and more.com thank you for joining me and i love you guys so much oh good night kisses molly wishes and reminiscence his eyes kiss and molly wish for the full moon above oh i will read up fashion in love listening closely position in my intuition for her nutrition and ambition nutrition and ambition get up like when you rise in the morning rub your eyes and the morning through the skies in the morning get up like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning, through the skies in the morning, get up.